So as you can see, we uh got a lot of progress done yesterday. Got the bench removed. As you can see, it's sitting right there. There's Chase Van. You guys met him uh, yesterday. Very cool fella. Um, so we did make a, a lot of progress yesterday. Got the bench out. And Chase was nice enough to give me this cot. Now, I thought I was going to be able to do the cot, guys. But after all, the way it turns out, this, this is a good cot. Um, but it does need memory foam on it, you know, cause, cause these bars right here, these bars ain't no joke uh, when you're trying to toss and turn, but, uh, oh, let me show you here. And that's it. That's the outcome right there. As you can see, we got the panel back up, you know, and we still got to do the, 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 what do you call it? The wood that was going on the side of those panels. And uh, other than that, fantastic vent fan works. Thanks again, Liberty Freak. Thumbs up. Hell yeah. I never thought. And I and it's like, I'm telling him, I'm just like, man, I, I can't believe this is happening to me, man. Like, you know, this year started off great and it's still unfolding i'm very thankful for for the people that i have in my life today you know for their positivity and their feedback and for for helping you know and trust and believe i'll do the same thing back you know uh so but that's the setup Uh, later, he's going to take us on a van tour. What about you, Liberty? Yeah. Van tour? <laughs> All right. Pleasure, man. I, I didn't even know you was bringing like like another bedroom. Oh my god! Oh shit! Hey. And for now, he's gonna take us on a van tour of his uh, his van here, the mansion, the mansion, you might say. Yep, this is a 2005 Chevy extended van. I uh, got a lot of help from my buddy Liberty Freak. He's the guy who inspired me to get in on this. Uh -huh. At least 50% to, you know, the work with me here every weekend for the last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we'll start with electrical. I got four T105 REs down there under that table. That uh, when I first hooked them up, they were working great, but right now they're not holding the charge. But I'll deal with that. Got charge controller. Got two solar panels up top. Mm -hmm. that definitely replenish the batteries, and they do a good job. And it kind of looks stealthy. That's my big thing. Is stealth. It still looks like a work van, even though I live in it full time. And in here, this is my bed, which is. Kind of a cot mattress on top of an air mattress, which works and blows along the same design as Liberty Freaks, where I got some nice pine wood in here. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of storage under here, and the way we built the bed, 
there's no stanchions in the middle, so you can put all kinds of big right. stuff under there. Mm -hmm. And uh, got my water jug, got a TV that we just hung in here. Oh, did you got a TV? Yep. <laughs> so I got the Xbox rolling down there. Oh, no, she left with my toolboxes. Uh, oh, no way. Are you kidding me? I got tools somewhere. <laughs> but uh, I need some wire snips. Oh, shit. oh, right here. I got you open up, but I got the TV and old boy uh, Liberty free hooking me up with some antennas So you can get like good channels and it comes in clear Mm-hmm. And you you uh, running the, the Xbox with it, too But I mostly run the Xbox off it. I got a little speaker here because the speakers suck on the TV Mm-hmm. But I got my Xbox got some games up here. Yeah got some DVDs and... and I like this bro. That's that's creative right there. Yeah, that's a uh, uh, his girl gave me these uh, one of the uh, I think it was Christmas or something mm -hmm. and so I just put them up and this was my favorite because it's I mean you're just laying in bed looking up at all the places you yes want to go yes I want to get some thumbtacks and start putting oh, you, them you all know the what places where I've been you yep, know yep. all the you know start drawing on mm -hmm. them, routes and stuff yeah making history with right, it right that's it and, yeah uh, so you got the AC I see back there too yep got the AC put in stealth so it's actually inside the van mm -hmm. uh, I put this on because when you're sitting here getting down gaming, it's blowing right in your right, side right, of your head. Right. So this kind of helps it circulate better. Uh, oh, you're not gaming online. In here, not right? online, not yet. Okay, I was about now, to say, park, dude. If you park up at like Walmarts and stuff, you know what I mean? Can, you get close enough, you can get on. You ain't going to be lagging, bro? It depends, depends, <laughs> on, how, be, it depends on how fat, how good their signal is. Look, you'd be one of them people just forever like in the kneel <laughs> mode, just sliding across the screen, everybody <laughs> shooting at you. Like, right. yeah. So one thing that I did uh, notice when, when you opened this door for the first time, I was like, damn, it's smaller in here right there in that area. And I didn't realize, like, you had blocked it off because I was thinking there was more room. Yeah, because when I, when I first got this van, it was nice and empty, and I thought it was big. It was, you know, like a mansion. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't figure out what to do with the wheel homes. Okay. I not figure out where I wanted my bed, you know, where the kitchen was going to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. be yourself, like be that. yourself. Get Don't out of here. yourself, yeah. And, uh... So I just one day looking at the wheel wells, trying to figure out what what I was gonna do with the AC. The AC is really what got me on the wall because mm -hmm. I didn't want to cut a hole in the door. Right, and have it, you know, and yeah. have it exposed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, Can you show the back how you got that hooked up like that? Of course. Yeah, I thought that was that was sweet the way you did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the back of that wall we were just looking at, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Got it all sealed up with the greatest stuff ever called Great Stuff. Okay. It expands and seals up all the gaps. And, the and so that back vent right here pushes that AC air out, huh? Yeah, this vent up here, when it's open, it's pulling up. And then I got these vents in the door here that I cut out. Okay. It has some mesh in there to keep the bugs out. Mm -hmm. So there's constant airflow moving through this, I call it the shed, mm -hmm. this back section. Yeah. And uh, it takes out any gas fumes from the generator fuel cell. Right. And that's the fuel cell right there, huh? That's the fuel cell. She holds about 15 gallons and it feeds this bad girl right here, which is a 2,000 watt Yamaha wow. uh, generator, which is super quiet. Puts out 2,000 watts, which is more than enough to run everything in there, plus charge batteries. Mm. Shit, dude. Awesome setup. This is my tool shed. This is where all the dirty stuff goes that I don't want to live with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just store it in the back, huh? Like that's the garage. Right. Just throw it in the shed. Mm hmm Well, thumbs up on that. Power to you, brother. Oh yeah, man. That's nice. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Catch you in a little bit. Here I am going to California with no AC unit. Eventually, yeah. You want to buy AC?
salve and do for you. Uh huh. And then I put it in the door so it didn't look so crazy in the window. Oh, you got a dog too? Or a cat? <laughs> Wait, so this AC is not sticking out the door? Yeah, it's sticking out the door. Oh, okay. It's a little bit less notable. notable right, stuff. right. I have this and the bike on here and everything. Right, it's a little right. Less easier to see. It's not like way up here, like, hi, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, that's hey, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he got out. He's all right. He out rolling in the dirt. He's, good. He never gets out. He's like, <laughs> yeah. And then I put this pegboard thing here so I can have tools and stuff like that. Have a little bit of organization. Uh -huh. Here I'll put like maybe water, you know what I mean? When I go to Boondock, uh -huh. put, stack up some stuff right here. Um, I got my tools and everything. Here in the bottom. In the wood flooring, I'm noticing. Huh? The wood flooring. That looks real this nice. Is, this is laminate. This is like fake laminate. Uh huh. You get on Craigslist and you can get this stuff for like 30 bucks for like four boxes. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, all the flooring guys, they always have extra stuff left over. Yeah. And man, they'll take it and just, I mean, they sell it super cheap 20, 30 bucks. Right. I see it you on know. Craigslist too. We have such a small space to do. You know what I mean? They're just a couple, two, three boxes. We'll now, how away. hard was it to lay it down? Super crazy easy. Oh, really? Yeah. What you do is it fits usually perfectly between the two wheel wells. Uh huh. So you just, you know, you just aim it that way. And then as you come this way, you just pick whatever size you want to chop it at. So as you go down, Okay. You know, it's it, you know, it mixed. You know, you alternate where they meet, so that you, they don't all meet at the same place. It was real easy. I've never done it in my whole life, and I believe this is my first time I ever tried it. Wow. Now, uh, you you was saying you could run uh, power drills, and and how is this? You running this stuff off of what batteries? You said. I have this over here, and then uh, I have all my power in here in this closet. Okay. I can power drills with this. I also power my microwave with it when I want to use it. Um, my solar controller. Uh huh. This is a, a power bus, which means that all my all my positive connections come to here, so they all have a fuse. Okay. Okay, and then the main power wire comes up to it. So all I got to do is just connect my power and things to here, put a fuse in it, and it's fused. Mm -hmm. This is the negative side, um, and then down here, I have my constant uh, charger. So I can, I can, when I'm on shore power, uh -huh. I connect and it keeps all my batteries charged. This right here is my fluke meter, which is my... my Got the whole setup in here. Well, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this is what I read my batteries with and stuff. Okay. And then, mm. Got movies. Or well, three batteries, huh? Yeah, are, are those deep cycles? I, I, this is a deep cycle here, and then I've got two golf cart batteries, which are six volts each. Okay. Wired in series to 12 volts. So actually, it's like two batteries, two big 12 volt batteries. Okay. Yeah, got the setup right there. I've never built anything ever. Man, you you make that that uh, storage shelf yourself, man. That's like good well, stuff. I, just, I came up with this myself. I mean, I just did it myself. I've never done, done anything with wood before. As you can see, it's all different types of wood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, but, uh, sturdy. It's sturdy, though. This right here used to be an old kitchen table. <laughs> Look at this sign. Danger, keep out. You know, everybody's hot cider. Right? Yeah, apple cider. <laughs> gotta have, gotta have your apple juice <laughs> in the morning time. But uh, yeah, the whole counter, the whole counter. Used, this used to be a kitchen table. Uh huh. So then I just cut it. Actually, I didn't cut it. It was these are the two halves. I left them at the, exactly the size that they were. Okay. They were two feet by four feet. So, and then um, I put those in. I made these curtains myself. This wow. was one curtain. I cut it in half. I used adhesive to put them together. Okay. And then now here's where I keep the litter box. And then I have my, my toilet yes. whenever necessary. Gotta have one of those. Luggable loo. It cost me like 12 bucks. I put some... Uh, that holds the scent. Highs the scent, huh? Uh, well, there is no scent. I mean, because it, it, nothing leaks in it or whatever. Right. I just like to have it because it makes the van smell good. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So I put yeah. uh, dryer sheets. That's what it is. Yeah. Dryer sheets and some paper towels and stuff. And then I have mm -hmm. it ready. See if you have to go. You don't yeah. have to get it ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I also use it as a seat sometimes. Now, now so, the thing that got me was I went to Cabello's. In that same bucket, they have with the the toilet seat and they want it like seventy four dollars. No. And I get, just don't understand no, that. No, you go to a construction <laughs> you go to any place that they're building any houses or whatever, mm -hmm. you get yourself a real bucket because they're different grades. Or you can buy one at Walmart. Right. I mean uh, not Walmart. The buckets are only like five yeah, bucks. Home Depot, Walmart, but also if you see that they're building a neighborhood somewhere, 
you can roll through mm -hmm. and you can find one there and they're a higher grade they last longer they won't break and crack yeah um because they're held to different standards right down here i have uh i bought i found these switches at uh at a junkyard mm -hmm. off of uh an ambulance i got all these switches for free really um i there. also have hidden behind here is my is my water pump and then I have my drawers right here. This is where the water comes in from the sink. Okay. There's my clean water over there. And then my, my water pump. Here. And all those buttons are working, huh? Yeah, yeah. Damn. It turns on my water pump. There's my lights up here. Okay. Almost everything in my nice. van is almost everything in my van is recycled. This comes from uh the inserts that are inside the conversion van for okay. their lights. I just yeah. ripped it off. Yeah. And I use this so I can diffuse the lights. Um I got these from the junkyard off of uh and all the electrical stuff in here too, all these buses, those came from uh, ambulances also. And and that microwave is, is uh, uh, functional? Yeah, I, I waited till it was uh, on sale. I got it for $29.99 at Walmart. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I've got it right here and I'm, I got my extension, which I, I just hook it up either when I'm running my generator uh -huh. or I can run it right off my inverter if I need to. Because uh, the draw is not really that important because you're not cooking a turkey in it. Right, right. You know, you're just, just, you're just quick, heating, huh? yeah, you're heating up some coffee or yeah. you know some soup or something like that. So it's like a quick meal. So uh, it doesn't really hurt your um, your batteries that bad. And okay. then I have a CPAP because I sleep with a with a breathing machine. Uh -huh. This bowl I made it with a 10 quart stainless steel. Wow. Uh, mixing bowl from Walmart it cost me like eight dollars. I got this from a thrift store. It cost me like three dollars. Um, I got the drain from from Home Depot. It cost me about seven dollars. Wow. Yeah, I try to do everything budget. Yeah, my floor, bro. My floor uh, like I said, the laminate I got from Craigslist that was like thirty dollars for mm -hmm. like three or four boxes. Yeah. But then also the flooring under it was all um, wooden crates that, right. I, that I picked up for free right. on Craigslist. So I wow. used the wooden crates as the as the frame for the floor, and I also put some uh, insulation. It's got insulation in the walls. And then I've got reflective color on right? Now what what about the bed setup? Uh my bed setup? How, how was it was that hard to construct or no, no actually my bed setup is pretty simple. I just made a little frame, it's actually it's just a board. Wow, so you it lifts up. I mean okay. as you can see it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um and Lots then of storage. Uh, this is a yoga mat I got from a thrift store. Uh -huh. They're really good to put as a base for your bed. Okay. Like you know, when you dig your elbows in or whatever right, at night, right. you know, you don't hit right into the wood. And then uh, this right here is actually inside of here. I have a memory foam that I bought from Walmart. It cost me like ninety nine dollars. Okay. I got the fattest one, which was like three inches, and I, I folded it in half. I got a queen size. Right, and yeah, yeah. I got yeah. a queen size. I folded it in half, mm -hmm. and then I stuffed it like a sock inside of a inside one of these sleeping bags. So I got a six inch memory foam. Wow. Bag, it's really comfortable. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on, you, you can come in and let on. When you it's, it like soaks in everything. It wraps around your body kind of. Yeah. Awesome uh, setup, man. Yeah. Got the windows for to get that good view. Everything, everything. I got everything. This is all thrift store stuff. I mean, uh -huh. all this cloth is from a thrift store. This is from a thrift store. This is from my cat to lay down on. Now, are um, you full-time? Yeah, I've been full-time for a year now. Okay. Uh, we started off in a minivan. No, I started off in a, in a 19... Oh, no, I'm sorry, a 2002... Uh, Mercury Villager, which is the same as a Nissan oh Quest. Oh my gosh, those things which is the are same so one small. That Alien was in the same, yeah. the same color and everything, right? <laughs> yeah. But I had a killer bedding setup set up in it. Okay. In the, in the fan. Yeah. yeah. The only thing was when you lay down, when you lay down, you were like, just look. Right there at the roof, huh? So you, you'd be laying down, the seat was like right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So that was pretty neat. And, man. Uh, and, uh, but man, I've really, I've never been happier in my whole life than when I moved into a van. Yeah. I've never, I've never had some negative aspects of it and have like a negative right. thought about it, but and I don't have to worry about anything. I'm just, I just, I feel so free. You know? Now let me tell you, when you moved out of that minivan to this, you felt like you had oh, yeah. a mansion up. <laughs> <laughs> you was like, yeah, we got a lot of space yeah, in here. I, I felt like I moved from a studio to a four bedroom. Yes, bro. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna feel when I when I move up from uh to a higher uh what do you call it high top. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, if if anything, I mean, if I if I had a negative that. I, It'd be the, I, the high I, top. I, yeah, I'm pretty used. To, I've gotten pretty used to moving around in here. Yeah. You know, at first I was like hurting bad. And yeah. Then I, my muscles all got used to it. You know. Yeah. But uh, you know, but it would be nice to be able to stand up in here. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and actually, if, if I would have been able to stand up in here, I would have taken that back area near the closet and all that, and uh -huh. I would have turned that into a, 
or that closed it off the back like chases and would have made it into like a toilet shower. Right, area. right. You know, where you can actually take a shower and go to the toilet and everything, right inside the van, you know? And wow. then lots of reflectors, man. I just went crazy and I bought like. So, does this stuff two help, man? Like. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Make keeps it cool. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Keeps the heat in. Yeah, keeps the heat. Yeah, it keeps, it, yeah, it, keeps it, it, it. keeps it cold. Well, it's gonna get hot. It's not gonna get. It's gonna be the same temperature inside as it's outside if you don't have any help. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. if it's state, like if you turn everything off, it's gonna get the same heat. Yeah. But uh, um, like when you run the AC, it'll it'll keep it cooler in here. If you run your heater, like your Mr. Buddy heater, it'll keep it warmer in here. Okay. And it'll keep the warmth in. Yeah. And then I also like it because the light it reflects off. Of yeah, it makes light. it lighter in here yeah, when so you yeah, have. So, yeah, so the light reflects yeah, a little bit. Bro. It almost looks like a grow room van. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut it right here and. So the nation is wishing you a farewell, bro. Till next yeah, time. Man. I appreciate it. Let's get some channel started. Up, man. That's right. I'm gonna try that today before I go to sleep. You already got it. I'll It was a combination of the subscribers. It was a combination of the support group that I have. It was a combination of uh, kind of like being free, you know, not being tied down to a particular place or a particular somebody. And it was the combination of, of like finally like getting ahead at the thing. And that's where I didn't give it enough time at. Because I think I was I was about to start moving up. It took me what? I was I was van drilling for maybe four or five months at the most. But that whole time period at the beginning, my money was going towards the van, like maintenance stuff, and I wasn't really saving nothing. Like right at the end of my four months, I was starting to come up a little bit where I was looking at 
you seen it, the TV, battery, I was, I was, my, my next thing was to get the solar panel, and, so, so you, you were starting to have, feel like you were starting to have some money? It was, it was, I think it was coming close to that time. I mean, because you got to think, I, I've never been able to, like, really get ahead. And that's probably a lack of having a good job. And that's a lack of the money that I do get. I always had to pay at least half of it to where I was living at. And so, therefore, I was just living. You know, when you don't have no money, of course, you stay at home all the time. I became more of a homebody. 